What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. And today we got 2.1 update for uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. And because of that, we also got the 6th Squad Assault. Now this only gives you Squad Assault Ace F, which is pretty much same as Squad Assault A Seal. So it's just another HP plus 3 Sacred Seal. So now we have got 3 HP plus 3 Sacred Seals in the game. So I'm only going to be using free double units in this video and it will have no skeletons involved so you can easily follow this guide. Now this squad assault is pretty easy um, but the fourth map can definitely give you some trouble. So in squad assault no unit of yours should uh, be defeated otherwise you get a game over. So we have got Saizo, Oboro, Nara and Takumi. They just have inflated stats. They don't really have any kind of threatening skills. So my first team has Let's got uh, Cecilia to take care of Saizo, Donald, Arthur, okay. and Corin. So Corin uh, was released a few months back um, as a free to play unit and she was given as a free reward to Android players. So technically she is a free to play unit for Android players. Nara has got a lot of bulk so that's why we need a magical unit to take him on. Yes. And now we can just take out Saizo. So... Saizo is just doing an extra job, I guess, after serving Ryoma's retainer here on this map with Takumi and his retainer. I actually do not remember if uh, Saizo had a support conversation with Takumi. It would be pretty nice to have that kind of support conversation uh, with Takumi uh, when he's up against a very blunt man like Saizo. So let's just use swap. And let's put Donald here right. so that he can get the Hona type boost from Karin. Yeah, I actually did not think there was a Takumi and Saizo uh, support conversation because I did see all of the support conversations um, in Fates. So, Obora is going to be attacking Arthur. She's extremely bulky. So, even two hits from Emerald Axe is not going to be doing enough damage to her. And here comes Takumi, so here you just need to drag him back and then just gang up on him. So I'm going to be attacking him with Dono, thankfully he does not have his close counter skill. Here I go. Otherwise this would be so difficult. So we can just weaken him down. And then finally take him out with uh, Cecilia. And we're gonna attack Oboro for some damage, and then she's gonna get taken out by Arthur. So that was the first map, pretty easy. And for this uh, second map, I'm gonna be using a team of Selena, Botre, Sully, and Ray. So Selena and Botre are pretty good because we have got two armor units um, on the second map. As you can see, and Hector and uh, Lance Knight and Ellie Wood and Green Cavalier are the units who are on this side. So Ray and Sully can easily take them on. This map is a reference to the map where uh, Hector joins your army in Blazing Sword. So Ray can do quite a lot to this Green Cavalier. And this Lance Knight I guess is a reference to um, Oswin because Oswin does also come with Hector. So it's pretty cool. Um, Awakening also had a lot of those cool references in the spot pass battles. And even uh, the amiibo battles in Fireman Fates had uh, pretty cool references like that um, with the generic enemies. Alright, so now we can just put Batre in the range of uh, this Lance Knight and Batre is one of the newly released uh, free to play units and he was given out as a quest reward along with uh, Laszlo and Florina. And Batre is actually a pretty good free to play unit because he packs a lot of power. So let's take out this Lance Knight. And we can just use drawback, right. use rally attack on Selena. Yeah. 
and put her in the range of Hector. Hector does not have distant counters, so you can easily attack him with your uh, red mages. The squad assault is uh, definitely pretty easy, but I think that it's a bit hard compared to the last one. The last one was the easiest one ever. But still, this squad assault has got the fourth map uh, with uh, inflated armor units. And 83 HP Zeph Yell. For the third map, I'm going to be using Henry, Mass Lucina, Lloyd, and S. If you do not have Lloyd, you can just use any kind of um, high res sword unit, like maybe Joshua. And uh, you need to give your S Spur Res one Sacred Seal so that Lucina can survive against Noe. And you also need to give your Lucina Speed plus two Sacred Seal or Speed plus two Slotty Skill, whichever is easy for you. So let's begin. And that speed sacred seal is required so that uh, Lucina can double Noe. Noe is the biggest threat on this map with a lot of HP, defense, and res. So let's begin. And we can just put Henry here and I'm gonna use shove with Est. By that I can put uh, Henry in the range yes. of this archer. Done. And because we've got two red units, um, Noe is gonna be going on that narrow path. This map is easy because you have a lot of room uh, to work with and you can easily divide the enemies okay. which is quite good. Yes. So like I said, Noe is going to be going on this path. Mm -hmm. And you can use any kind of red unit in place of Lloyd who has got decent res. I wonder when they will release uh, Linus. Then finally people can run. Um, four Fangs themed team. It would be amazing actually. They should definitely release Linus. Right. Like, in general, more Blazing Sword units. Because there are a lot of great uh, units from Blazing Sword that they could release, honestly. Maybe we can have another Blazing Sword banner with Pent, Wrath, and I guess Nils. Nils could be a green uh, Dragon Dancer. That would be amazing. So hopefully that can happen sometime soon. So Novi is going to be attacking Marth and because of Spur Res 1 Secret Seal on Est, um, Lucina is going to be able to survive and double attack Novi. And we can hurt quite a lot. Lloyd actually has the same voice actor as Owain and Shiro so that's pretty Done. cool. And we can take out uh, Noe with Marth. So you really need to double uh, this Noe with your Lucina um, to take her out. Okay. And now we can just put S in the range of this Henry. And this Henry does not have um, Ignis. So he cannot really do anything to your high res units. Like even after inflated stats, he only has 39 attack, which is absolutely nothing um, for a mage. It's actually really low. Oh. It does take a while because uh, Henry enters his defined defense range and then he gets 44 defense so um, that's why I just skip that part and S can easily take out Henry and that was the third map and now we move on to the real challenge which this squad assault has to offer in this map. So we have got uh, this map with Zephiel, Axe Knight and the Slants Knight, a Cleric and Narsian. So Zephiel's inflated HP is just too good and with his retribution and high HP he can hit quite hard. He does not even have reprisal, only retribution and they're gonna be getting the ward armor support from Zephiel. So for this I'm gonna be using a team of Tobin, Oboro, Frederick and Rist. So if you do not have Tobin you can just use any kind of red infantry unit uh, with armor slayer and who has got enough bulk or you could just run something like Triangle Adept to make uh, the matchup of your red unit better against the Axe Knight. And then I've got Oboro, Frederick, and uh, Res. I've given Res Fortified Defense 1 Sacred Seal so that uh, he can support the other units against these armored units. It's just good to have um, on this kind of map, honestly. So let's begin. And let's put uh, our units like this. And let's begin. Yeah. Ready. So we can just use Rally Defense on Tobin. Well and move Frederick here so that this cleric moves 
um, on the other side, just like that. Okay. And we can use Valley Defense on Tobin. And of just course. put Frederick here yes. and uh, bait out this Cleric with Riz. Now Riz, of course, has amazing Riz, so he's not gonna get taken out by this Cleric that easily. And he also has slow staff, which is pretty good, as you might be able to double this Cleric after that with their units, but with my units, I cannot double this Cleric. So Narsian has moved in, and that's why we have to move uh, Oboro here. And um, even after the slow debuff, like none of my units can double this Cleric. So we can just attack uh, this Cleric with Frederick. She's actually quite annoying. Uh, you need to take out, honestly. And uh, we can just attack this Axe Knight, actually. Okay, so this Cleric is going to be attacking Frederick uh, because he's got pretty low res and. Uh, We can do quite a lot to this Lance Knight, thanks to Luna. Narsian does zero damage, so he's not a big threat. And you can just have any kind of red unit take care of him. So Tobin is barely going to survive with 2 HP. And that is fine, so we can just have him attack Narsian. And now we can just heal up Frederick back to full HP, attack this Cleric with Oboro. And I'm not going to be attacking this Lance Knight, actually, um, because yes. he does quite a lot of damage. 13 damage is quite a lot. If I do attack him, then the combination of his attack and Cleric can take out my Frederick, so that's why I um, just want to be safe. Ready. Chip away her health and yes. heal up Frederick for a bit. For my lord, crop. And now we can finally take out this Lance Knight with Frederick and uh, move a Boro here and attack this Cleric. We love Frederick, otherwise that Cleric can take out Frederick. Yeah, this cleric does quite a lot to Frederick. I did try to use Botry um, on this map instead of Frederick, but Frederick just works better because of Luna. And we can move here and take out this cleric because Obora gets taken out by uh, Zephiel's uh, retribution if she attacks yes. Zephiel. Glad to help. So that's why. Hopefully Zephiel's weapon gets a weapon refinery update. Recently, Sanaki yes. and uh, George got weapon refinery update to their legendary weapons. Which certainly gives you hope <laughs> that they would fix weapons like these and Binding Blade. Well, well. Okay. So let's yes. heal up Obura back to full HP. And uh, Zephiel has got his retribution ready, so he's gonna be doing quite a lot actually. So let's just slow down Zephiel so that Oboro can outspeed him. And after the debuff, um, Oboro can easily double him. Without the debuff, Oboro cannot double Zephiel. Oh god, that did so much. So that was the fourth map, and I'm pretty sure for a lot of players, this squad assault is gonna be pretty easy outside of the fourth map. Um, looks like we got the reset, and, uh... Let's move on to the fifth and the final map. So for this map, I'm going to be using Narsian. If you do not have Narsian, then just use any kind of um, flyer with Emerald Axe and you should be fine. And also give them Lance Breakers so that they can one round KO um, those Lance Flyers. And then I've got Laszlo to take care of Titania. Fearm, of course, um, to take care of the Red Mage. And Fearm is uh, a guaranteed 5-star unit, which everyone is supposed to have. The fourth unit does not really matter, you can just use any kind of unit. I'm just using Matthew uh, because I really like him. So let's put Narsin here, Fiorm here, and let's begin. 
So you can just put um, Narsin in the range of this Lance Flyer, and the drive attack support from Fiorm is going to be pretty good as well. So because of the drive attack support from uh, Fiorm, Narsin is exactly able to take out this Lance Flyer, which is really good. Okay. And then we can right. move back with uh, Matthew. Very well. Orders, please. Ha! Ha! Right where I want you. Alright, so now we have to move back uh, because this Lance Flyer is coming for us and Fiorm can easily take on this Red Mage. So let's just move back with uh, our units. Alright, so we can just take out this Red Mage. Alright, so yes. let's just take out this Lance Flyer. And of course, Mist has got Miracle. I'll do my best. So it would be annoying to take her out. Huh. And now huh. Alright. Uh, actually I should have moved Fiorm here so that uh, Laszlo and Matthew could do more damage. <laughs> So let's finish okay. this off. Actually, Mist does not even reach Miracle range. Don't make me laugh. Um, <laughs> just enough to proc Very Miracle, well. I guess. Yes. All right. And Matthew is gonna get that final kill. So that is going to be it for this squad assault guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any kind of trouble, let me know in the comment section down below and I will try my best to help you. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on more Fire Emblem Mirrors content, which I'm going to be uploading in future. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.